My dear friends in Christ, it sounds weird for the Lord to ask these questions. Does he not know his mother? Of course he does. Mary is the mother of Jesus. Does he not know his father? At least the foster father? Of course he does. Joseph the carpenter. The brothers and the sisters that the gospel reading for today talks about, they are not biological brothers and sisters of the Lord because Jesus is an only son of God. Mary did not give birth to anybody else except Jesus. And so why did Jesus ask the question, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? My dear friends, does it mean that Jesus ignore his own relatives? Does it mean that he is denying who his mother is? And the brothers are probably cousins and relatives of the Lord? Does he not love his kinship or his kin and his relatives? His love and respect for his mother and kin is unquestionable. But on this occasion, when many gathered to listen to Jesus, our Lord pointed to another and to a higher reality of relationship. There is a higher form of relationship. There is a nobler reality of kinship. It does not have to be biological. It does not have to be physical. What is the essence of Christianity? It is certainly more than doctrine. Christianity is more than precepts. Christianity is more than following the commandments. First and foremost, Christianity is a relationship. It is a relationship of love and unity with God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and with all who belong to God as His children. Because the gracious gift of God to us is our adoption. We are the adopted children, adopted sons, and daughters of God. My dear friends, this gift enables us to recognize all those who belong to Christ as our brothers and sisters. They do not have to be our physical or biological brothers and sisters, but there is a higher form of relationship that is much nobler and higher than physical relationship and that relationship is a spiritual relationship that relationship basically belongs to our relationship with God I remember an early martyr who said that a Christian's only relatives are the saints what does this mean? Those who follow Christ and who seek the will of God, they enter into a new family, a family of saints here on earth and a family of saints in heaven. In other words, to make the long story short, in our gospel for today, the Lord changes the order of relationships and He shows that true kinship is not just a matter of flesh and blood. And so who really belongs to Jesus? Our Lord defines how one becomes a brother and sister and mother, pointing to the disciples probably. And the Lord says, anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven, just like the apostles, 
is my mother, my brother, and sister. My dear brothers and sisters, you are not my real brothers and sisters. But why do I call you brothers and sisters? We are not blood relatives, but you are my spiritual brothers and sisters. This is what the gospel tells us. All our relationships on earth are secondary. Our primary and most important relationship is with God. God tops the list. Everybody else, including our natural family, including our physical, biological brothers and sisters and relatives, everybody else is secondary. Amen. Let us all stand.